Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today is Super Bowl Sunday. It is six o'clock, so I'm starting this off very late in the day. Um, I did my workout, learned about some PPP loans, cause I just find that to be so interesting. And even though like some people like probably shouldn't take it out because it's not very morally right, it is still like legal, so they're not doing anything illegal. I want Sherry to show you what she makes her dip out of. She has this famous dip that I don't really eat. Sorry, this is Sherry. Sherry's world famous, the world famous <laughs> spinach dip. Spinach dip. So what's in it? Um, obviously spinach. Obviously spinach. That's the basis. Nor's vegetable soup mix. Okay, so vegetable recipe mix. This is really good. So what you do is you combine a cup of Hellman's. It must be Hellman's. Hellman's mayonnaise. So you have to have Hellman's. It tastes different if you use anything else. And sour cream. 16 ounces of sour cream. Um, the Hellman's mayonnaise is a cup. Also, oops, sorry. I felt, oh, hot mustard sauce. <laughs> That's why I love hot mustard sauce. So, we have um, to keep a stash in there a stash. because uh, they're always out of it. Yeah. You mix that up with this mm -hmm. and then you take one box of frozen, and you can use like really cheap because the spinach doesn't matter, um, a box of frozen spinach and thaw out the frozen spinach. You have to thaw it out and get it just as dry as you possibly can. I squeeze it out. I take paper towels and try to get as much of the water out. Because if you don't get a lot of water out of the um, spinach, then it will make your dip runny. And we don't like runny dip. The other thing you get, and I don't have anything to show you, um, is a can of water chestnuts. It gives a little crunch to the dip. So um, I get the sliced water chestnuts, drain those, and then chop them up so they're almost like minced, and put that in. If if you use the recipe that's on the back of the Norse vegetable soup mix, it says to put in green onions and we don't really like the green onions in it, so we don't put that in. So this is the world famous spinach dip and it is served in rye bread. If I decide way ahead of time that I'm going to do this, but this we just decided yesterday, um, if we decided to do the spinach dip, I always order a round bread from Publix that is a light rye, so you don't have a lot of like really heavy rye taste, because uh, that does affect the spinach dip flavor. But we just decided yesterday, so we just got whatever bread, bread we had available. So we don't have a round rye, but <laughs> we have good. a loaf. It does look very good. It's just regular rye bread. It's not the light rye. Yeah. What we do with this is handy dandy cutting this board. This is like the only thing Sherry really makes. It is. This is my one, my one thing that I make because Valerie does all the cooking. So, you know, Valerie didn't like what I cooked, so Valerie gets to do the cooking, right? Yep. Careful the with the knife, Sherry. This goes in the bowl. Yep. We just have to cut out the top of the bread here. Sherry always makes me nervous when she has a knife. <laughs> and then we pull this bread out, so we make a nice little bowl to put the spinach in. Get this pulled out of here. Oh, snap. Okay. There it is. See? There. You have the little opening there. And then you just spoon in the dip. The dip. And if it's in here, sometimes you can just leave it overnight if you have any left over, which is like really good. Okay. I always let this when I make the dip, you I let, let it sit, sit overnight because then all the vegetable soup mix is kind of crunchy. Yeah. So you want to make sure it gets all soft so you're not like having crunch. The only crunch you should taste is the um, water chestnuts. Yep. So this should just about fill this up. Wait, I want to try a piece of this rye. Okay. Mm. It tastes interesting. Kind of minty. You like it? Not really. Oh. If you put spinach dip on it, it makes it all better. Okay, so there is my spinach dip. And then the bread that I took out of the middle, I cut mm -hmm. this up into squares and that's, and then you dip out the spinach dip and put it on those squares of bread. Very nice, Perfect. Sherry. Okay, so Tampa's coming out. All the teams are coming out. Well, maybe it's just Tampa. I'm clearly not the biggest football uh, person because I'm not very knowledgeable on it. But my friend from high school is a cheerleader for the Buccaneers, so I hope I get a little clip of her because I'm excited to see her. Okay, Sherry, you want to show us around the table here? We have a little spread of miscellaneous items. So we have this cheese ball. The spinach dip. Yes. Shrimp. Cocktail sauce. Valerie's cheese ball. Nut thins that go with the cheese ball. Yep. Alex's Lay's chips. Yep. We have hot dogs too we coming. Have hot dogs coming. And we have our Panera cookies. We had a deal. There was a deal going on. So um, we actually just uh, saved our second one for tonight. So we didn't have to eat two of them. Okay, I also want to show you guys that I have some Brussels sprouts here because 
Honestly, I don't really eat any of the dip. Sorry, Sherry. And I don't really have like the cheese. I might have like a couple shrimp though, but I always gotta have like a vegetable. So I have these here. Sherry, yes. who are you rooting for? Since we don't do much in life right now, the Super Bowl is a very exciting event. It is, it is. So who are you rooting for? Um, you know, I don't really care. Yeah. I'm not really a big fan of either team. I don't really care, but <laughs> watching it because I like the commercials and like to see what's going on. But uh, I'm going to root, I think, for Tampa Bay because, yeah. well, we live in Florida, so we kind of ought to, even though I really don't <laughs> like Tom Brady. But they're the first NFL team to have an actual woman coach. Girl power. Oh, my hair's looking rough. Anyway, I'm rooting for Tampa because my friend is a cheerleader for the Buccaneers. So, again, I'm not like a big football person. Yeah. Valerie, who are you rooting for? I'm rooting for uh, Tampa. Why? Because I like old people. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, they're tossing the ball again here. I am not good at moderating, so don't worry. I won't be showing a lot of this part. Valerie's taking aerial shots of the food, but I also wanted to say that we got our hot dogs here. Sherry, what did you learn? What? About what? About today and oh. food consumption. Oh, that after Thanksgiving, this is the biggest U.S. food consumption day of the year. Here we go. And Isn't it, that funny? it really is true here. Definitely a cheat day for all of us. Not that Valerie. Anyway, we won't talk about that. Okay, so I'm so happy the Buccaneers won. Woohoo! I did not see my friend on the TV. Sherry, did you end up seeing her at I all? Did not. No. I didn't see any of the I don't know where they were, so I'm sad that I didn't get a clip. But we're waiting for Tom Brady to say he's going to Disney World. Sherry says that's iconic, right? Right. Okay, so there was no Tom Brady saying that he's going to Disney World. Yeah, maybe they just did it and they're recording it. Yeah, she thinks they're just recording it. Okay, so I'm not really vlogging today because we already, like, the half of the day is already gone and I need to uh, work out, edit this, and just do all the things, like laundry, like boring stuff. So I am just going to end it here. I know I was gonna, like, continue it on, but um, I just wanna say, sorry it's a little bit shorter, but I hope you guys enjoyed Sherry's little recipe. And I guess that's pretty much it. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!